Hello everybody, it is Adam from SoGo Survey, and today we are here to talk about score more, percent favorable. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Score more. We've covered weighted score and net intent. Time to round it out with percent favorable. Percent favorable identifies the percentage of positive responses received. While it's similar to net intent, percent favorable doesn't subtract negative responses from positive responses. Percent favorable in use. When? Let's say you work for a nonprofit organization that wants to gauge how their donors and the public view the organization. After sending out a survey with rating questions regarding various aspects of your nonprofit, it's time to report on your findings. Why? Percent favorable can display the percent of positive responses overall per question or in question groups. This customization allows you to present the data in the most meaningful way to you and your stakeholders. How? Within Omni, you'll find score at the top of the page. Choose percent favorable to view your options. Choose which question to include and which answer options should be identified as positive. And here is an image of overall percent favorable within the Omni report. It defaults to a single percentage, as you can see on the previous slide, but I can choose to display it as a graph too. And here it is in the graph format. Filtering and segmentation. If you want to see how donors responded, apply a donor filter. If you want to compare the responses of donors to those of non-donors, use segmentation. And here's what you would see if you segmented percent favorable. Alternate calculations. You can also change how your percent favorable is calculated. Instead of overall score, it can be calculated as question scores or grouped question scores. And here is percent favorable by question. Grouped question scores is used to see the percent favorable score of one group of questions to another group of questions score. Want more? If you're still unsure about using scoring in your project, check out our user guide page on scoring, join a reports training session, or reach out to support within your account. The Score More series is over, but we're still here to help you make the most of your projects. If you want to learn more, you can read the full blog on our website. You can watch some more of our YouTube videos or tune in to some of our podcasts. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode and have a wonderful weekend.